It is MLG Championship Sunday from Columbus, Ohio. There you see the scoreboard. Instinct five, straight ripping zero. A battle between two of MLG's most storied franchises. Here we have Instinct trying to finish it off. Earlier I said it's CTF Zealot. They've already played that in the first round, so we're gonna switch our game type over to Warlock CTF. Guys, this is a dangerous one. Instinct so nasty on this map. Yeah, they love to just swarm the other team. They're so good at predicting spawns. I actually am going to be expecting a 6-0 sweep here in the finals. Straight ripping, trying to put up a point on the board. Let's see if they can take another game from Instinct. It's time for game number six. Let's get into the map. All right, guys, I want to get this game started with straight ripping. I want to see how they get into this game. Are they going to give up or are they going to put up a fight? I think it's all going to be decided by this opening push. If they can get four down and get some momentum, they could roll. But it's going to be a very tough start. We have seen how dangerous Instinct is on this game type. And you have to get the camo off the beginning over Instinct because they make you pay. Great job by Nated already picking up the double kill. Now he has the grenade launcher right behind him. Ogre 2 is going to take down Nated, but it was a pretty decent start for Straight. They traded kills at the beginning. We saw Nated kick it off with a double, and T-Squared picked up a kill of his own. Right now, we are switching over to a really good noob, and he is coming up behind Lunchbox, doing a nice job of listening to callouts and using those portals. Yeah, there's great play here by Straight Rip, and they just didn't even know they didn't win the beginning. They've kept it very strong and kept a good presence on the map all the way out through. We got Roy trying to move the flag here for Instinct, the really good noob taking all kinds of fire, trying to stay alive, goes through the portal to the opposite side of the map where he has teammates. You saw him eyeing the flag, T-squared is going to be trying to protect that over at the opposite portal. The flag though in the hands of Ogre 2 and it looks like Legit's going to come in causing a bit of objective dilemma. Now Instinct has to get the return before being able to put this one in. Ogre 2 though oh. taking on the slang roll, it looks like Launchbox. Is going to be taking on the objective role. He is going to put in the first flag after this return. Instinct is the first one on the board. Will straight rip and crumble. Ogre 2 just dominating right now. He melee T squared three times and he was F no shield. Huge play by Ogre 2. He's showing his dominance this game. And they just got the second cat. Instinct so good at getting the second cat. As soon as they kept the first, expect another member to be in position. And they just run the cap so much faster, I feel, than any other team. Ogre 2 is on a spree. T-squared finally going to end that one. We switch our camera back to Roy. Roy, probably the event MVP in my mind so far. He has been playing lights out. Halo Reach, a 1.54 kill to death ratio coming into the winner's bracket finals. And I think he's putting up similar numbers here in the final three matches of the night. You see Roy putting up Black number three right now. Great protection from Pistola, Ogre 2, and Lunchbox. All four members of Instinct Alive expect them to go again. And I'm watching this Dynasty squad, or at least watching the respawn countdown. Every single time there's all four dead, and Instinct is running a flag. It's absolutely impressive. And they're running a fourth flag right now with Pistola with the camo. Pistola's going to get that flag up to his base. Can straight rip and get the return. It looks like Ryan Noob now is going to take Pistola's grenade launcher. That is going to aid in the return. They do get the return, and now I see Ryan Noob on the offense. How will Instinct play this defensively? Will Straight Ripping be able to cap on him? Well, Roy actually making a move now into the Straight Ripping base. He's probably going to throw it out, create what we'll call him the objective dilemma. You can see him just getting a quick touch on the flag. It's not allowing Straight to be get any sort of cap. Ryan Noob down low in the grenades. He's going to toss it up. Legit is now there. Legit, though, getting naded just as he catches the flag up top. No one else from Straight Ripping in position to score that. A failed attempt at a toss-up, and now Instinct is going to be able to get the return. Yeah, Pistola throwing some incredible grenades. 
across the map, literally the most precision grenades. They skimmed the platform, bounced perfectly to kill legit the guy who's about to cap. And there you got Pistola using the flag to pick up the beatdown. He's bringing it in with the camel once again. He's going to be taken down. So the flag is sitting at the instinct base. You got over two trying to protect it. Lunchbox here at the green base is going to be coming here on the flank behind a really good dude. Protecting the return, but straight ripens. T squared is there to get the return. Great defense from straight as they prevent the fourth flag, but they're down three flags in a game to five. Straight ripen needs to get some momentum, and they need it now. And I'm very confused why T squared is, has, did not try to run that flag earlier. They had three members of instinct down, and I think he just got too caught up in the moment. I think they're a little rattled as well. Instinct's just getting three quick caps within the first two minutes of the game. Right now, they know that this is their tournament life at stake. They just don't want to make any stupid mistakes. D-squared just animating the back smack there. Top middle spots. The camel guy wasn't able to hit the melee. Now it looks like the camel pistol is able to escape. Such a sneaky player. T-squared distracted, looking for that camel player. Finally chases down Pistola. His patience paid off, but it was a dangerous situation. Straight ripping with three members up. Ryan Noob, the only one down. And Instinct forced to back up and play a bit defensively here. Nice job by T2 coming on the flank to do some cleanup. Naded runs right into the grenade thrown by T-squared. And now you have Ogre 2 bringing the straight ripping flag back to the instinct base once again. Well, an interesting play originally by Ogre 2. He grabbed the flag and ported it back up into the straight ripping base. I wonder if he had no idea that that was actually where he was headed. I thought he was going to go through the portal for the easy cap, but instead it's still a 3-0 game straight ripping down by three. But T squared is really doing a great job of staying alive here, Scott. He's doing an awesome job patrolling this bottom, and he's on a killing spree, and he's out shooting this instinct squad. He's trying to be the spark for straight ripping, but no one on his team will answer the call. With no shield, he was able to land three DMR shots on I Got Your Pistol, doing a lot of damage there. Legit now starting to warm up. He was going for the double, but Instinct's just out teamworking them right now. There was three guns on legit. He just got melted. Meanwhile, I saw Nated just pick up a kill, and we have T-Squared spotting the flag runner. It's Roy once again. They're trying to get an angle, but the slaying power of Instinct may just be too strong here to stop it. They just dominated that spawn kill. Ogre 2 drops down because he saw the first person spawn at yellow, and he forced the entire team to spawn at yellow. This is a guaranteed cap. Excellent execution of the spawn trap. Roy running the flag in here and getting hit by a grenade, but it's not enough to stop him from putting it in. Four to zero. Instinct one cap away from becoming your Columbus champions. Lunchbox moving that fifth flag. Chris here, he brings it up. Is anyone from straight ripping in position to stop him? They will not. Ogre 2 is here, and there it goes. Instinct takes home Columbus. What an incredible performance here tonight and all weekend long by the newly formed Instinct lineup. These guys have dominated from start to finish, only dropping one game on their road to victory. The new tournament champs may be the start of a dynasty. Guys, cannot say enough about this new squad. I just hope they do not slack off in between events because this team can easily keep dominating in this fashion. There is just too much individual talent. They have the best communication in the league and their team works better than everyone else's as well. Yeah, I gotta say, incredibly impressed. These guys had so much pressure coming into this event, the entire community, calling them the God Squad. Everyone you could see may be hoping that they might start losing, but they proved everyone there's a reason that these two different guys or two sets of uh, pairs joined up together, absolutely dominating the competition. Columbus, Ohio, put your hands together for instinct, your Columbus champions. And hats off to Straight Rippin'. They really put on a show this weekend. Coming in with the 14th seed, falling short, but they are back at the top. I cannot wait to see them back in Anaheim. Guys, that is going to do it here for our championship match. But coming up after this commercial break, we'll have the award ceremony on our main stage.